Hi everyone, Eileen here. Um, I finally cleared my spirit bedroom and I'm going to get my online yoga on. So thanks for everyone that um, supported me through this, encouraged me to do it. I'm happy that I can get on the mat and share yoga in this time. Um, all right, here we go. Let's get started. Any feedback would be great. Okay. With music too. Ooh. Come to the tops of our mats. And as you come to the tops of your mats, close the windows of your eyes, feel your hips width apart, and flow from side to side. Or in a bath. With your knees soft, just really feeling your feet, really grounding ourselves today in such a turbulent time. It feels good to find some groundedness. Root in, dig in. Drop the hands to the heart, bow the chin towards the chest, taking a moment to honor your intention. What has brought you onto your mat today? Once you've set your intention on your next inhale, reach your arms up. As you exhale, come into a forward fold. Inhale, lifting up halfway. And as you exhale, float your right leg back, drop the knee. On the inhale, crescent moon. As you exhale, float into down dog. Inhale, high plank. For our first one, let's drop to our knees. Draw the belly in and up, and as you exhale, chaturanga, elbows come in towards the ribs. As you inhale, roll the shoulders back, you can stay in cobra. Some of us may be working into some form of an up dog. Exhale, move through your knees, come into down dog. On your next inhale, lift that right leg high. Exhale, between our hands. You can walk the foot forward, drop the back knee. Inhale, press the move. As you exhale, hand comes down to the ground, come forward. Inhale, hands onto your shins, heart pulls forward. And as you exhale, fold forward and down. Inhale, come on up, take a big breath. And as you exhale, once again, dive. As you inhale, lengthening the spine, pulling your heart forward, pulling your shoulders back. As you exhale, hands down, take your left leg back, drop the knee. Inhale, press the moon. Exhale, hands down, down dog. Inhale, high plank. Sitting yourself up however you see fit. And as you exhale, chaturanga. One long line. Inhale, roll the shoulders back, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, lift your left leg high. And then as you exhale, take it right between your hands. You can use your hand to help your foot up like this. Square your hips, drop the knee, inhale, press the moon. As you exhale, hands come down. It's a big step forward. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, dive. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, right leg back. Drop the knee. Inhale. Exhale, takes you to down dog. Inhale, high plank. 
Here we go, Chaturanga. Staying long. Heart forward. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, between our hands. Once again, press the moon and drop the knee. Reach the arms. Exhale, hand, come down, we step forward. Come up halfway. And then pull. Inhale, rise. Exhale, dive. Halfway, inhale. Left leg back. Drop the knee. Inhale, press it in. Exhale, hands go down. We step back, down dog. Inhale, high plank. Set yourself up. You choose. Toes or knees. Exhale, chaturanga. Roll the shoulders back. Oh, lift. Exhale. Inhale, left leg high. Between our hands. Drop the knee. Inhale, one more crescent moon. Oh, exhale, hands down. Let's step back. Breathe here. Come into tabletop and let's take the child's pose. So we're gonna rest our head on the earth, reach our arms forward, pull our hips back. Um, I like to widen my knees, you can play with that. If your forehead touches the earth, roll your forehead from side to side. Remind ourselves at any point we can come back to child pose if we need to take a break. Find our breath. One more big breath here. Mm. And you exhale slowly. Press into our hands and lift ourselves up. So kind of sitting in the backs of our mats here. <sighs> so our hands on our thighs. Close our eyes. <sighs> Begin to feel your body as you start to move the body. Notice where you begin. Thumbs come in, four fingers at the top, just some small circles. Yeah. Ah, come forward. Play your toes over this time. So we have a seat. If this doesn't serve you today, no problem. Come back to flat feet. Uh, you might even have a blanket with you, as my students usually do. You never know what's going to happen. And then from here, deep breath. And as you inhale, come up to the knees. Reach your arms. Look up. And as you exhale, slowly sinking the hips to the heels, hands to the heart. Again, inhale. Exhale. One more, inhale. Exhale. Hands them down, and you're gonna be a little whack with this. Yeah. Here we go, working into down dog. 
Take a few breaths here as we settle in and stretch the spine. Imagine I'm there giving your hips a little encouragement. <laughs> On your next inhale, bend your knees, look between your hands. You can walk or you can step forward. You might even hop. As you inhale, halfway. And as you exhale, full. Inhale, coming up. Reach your arms and look up. And as you exhale, take your hands to your heart. Inhale, sweep the arms, look up. Exhale, hold. As you inhale, lift halfway, lengthen the spine. As you exhale, right leg goes back. Right hand underneath your right shoulder. And as you inhale, left arm forward. As you exhale, big circle up and back. Yeah, good. Big circle with the arm. Inhale, reach. Exhale, up and all the way back. And then here, even give your eyes a job. See if you can follow your hand with your eyes. See where you are in space. One more big circle. One well, hand comes down to the ground, float back into down dog. Mm, give everything a little shake, shake. On your next inhale, coming forward into high plank. We're going to take a vinyasa here. So toes or knees, you choose, okay? Exhale, chaturanga. Nice and slow. Inhale, roll the shoulders back. You can stay low. Some of us might come all the way up. Exhale, down dog. On your next inhale, lifting your right leg high. And as you exhale between our hands. Ha! Yeah. Here we go over to spin the back heel down. Arms the windmill out. Three. Settle into warrior two. Press into your feet. Yeah, feel the strength it takes to so hold yourself there. And then breathe. Vinyasa movement with breath. So on your next inhale, flip your front hand up and reach back. And then as you exhale, we're going to come forward. This is called side. Angle, front hand onto your front thigh, back arm by the ear. Good, so it goes like this, inhale. Exhale. Back and forth, again, inhale. We'll breathe into that front thigh, I know it must be feeling it right now. One more time, inhale. This time straight in the front leg. Ooh, reach back, back, back. Press into your front toes as you reach back. Five and then as you exhale, bend into your front leg, windmill forward. Slowly walk forward and back, and then you're gonna step forward. Forward, fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Oh, exhale, dive. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, left leg back. Left wrist below your left shoulder. Okay, energize that back leg. And as you inhale, reach and get really long. As you exhale, twist, look up. Oh, look back. Give yourself a 360, 360 of where you are in space. Good. 
Inhale, we reach, and as we exhale, we circle back and down. Hand comes to the ground, float back into down dog. On your next inhale, float forward to high plank. Now you choose what will serve you today, toes or knees. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Mm, on your next inhale, left leg goes high. As you exhale, take it between your hands. When you're ready, warrior two, spin the back heel down and mill the arms out. Feel your body. And then moving with the breath, inhale, hand up. Float back. Exhale, come forward. Inhale, back. Mm. Exhale, forward. Inhale. And exhale. The next time you inhale, straighten your front leg, reach back. Now get really long, stretch that entire left side of your body. And breathe. Inhale, bend into your front leg, windmill forward, rocking forward and back. Then forward and back, stepping forward. Oh, inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, fold. And just hang out here, my friends, dangle, hold on to opposite elbows. Nod yes, shake no, mm, chant along, find that fire, Ram, 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 the hands and bend the knees and then slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. Nice and slow. Oh. And then when you find yourself in Tadasana, do a big shoulder roll up. And as you exhale back and down. Another one more time. Shoulders up. To the ears and as you exhale pull them back and down one more taking a moment here in tadasana once again feeling grounded rooting ourselves into our foundation Finding the strength in our breath to stay present. Once again, open the eyes, take an inhale, sweep the arms up. And as you exhale, forward fold. As you inhale, floating up halfway. And as you exhale, take your right leg back. This time, take your right hand off your mat, so really far off to the right, and energize that back leg as you float the left arm up. A big old twist here and really press through that back leg. Drop the back knee down towards the ground, hand that's in the air. 
is going to reach for that foot. That foot is going to float up to the sky. See if you can find your foot. If you can find your foot, take a deep breath and kick into your hand. If you cannot find your foot, no problem. Just keep reaching for it. Keep breathing. Good. Slowly releasing. Here we go. Down dog. Hands come back to the mat. On your next inhale, come forward, high plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog. On your next inhale, lift your right leg high. And as you exhale, take it between your hands. Now, from here, hmm, I lie, let's take that back. <laughs> oh, the trials of online yoga. Okay, so lift your right leg high. Let's do this one, flying pigeon. As you inhale, come forward. Right knee to right elbow, and then as you exhale, we go back, okay? But again, inhale, right knee, right elbow. Exhale, back. Last one. Squeeze and back. This time, pigeon pose, right knee to your right wrist. Okay, now uh, have a seat. Oh, take a look behind you, pull that leg back. Right, you might have to sit on a block here. It's a great place to support yourself, okay? Um, my next class, I'll have blocks. <laughs> All right, so square the hips. Fingertips pressing towards the earth. Now here, my friends, lift yourself nice and tall. Take a deep breath in, and then as you exhale, pull your chin in towards your chest. And almost like you're diving down as you exhale, undulating the spine. As you inhale, pull your chin out and up, trying to create as much movement through our spines and necks as we can. Exhale. Good. Inhale, pulling ourselves. Our chin forward and up. Again, tuck the chin in. Come on down. Exhale. Good. Pull the chin out and up. Inhale. Oh. Hands come down to the ground. Here we go. Oh, three, like a down dog. Get that leg a shake, shake, shake. Get that. Ooh, shake, shake, shake. Yeah. And then from here, find down dog. Look between our hands, bend our knees, inhale. Now you can step or you can hop over. Okay. Oh, inhale, halfway. Exhale, we fold. Inhale, come on up. Oh, big breath. And as you exhale, dive. Heart forward, shoulders back. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, take the left leg back. Left hand goes out, off the mat to the left. Take an exhale, right arm floats up. And twist. You might even lean back a little bit to get a little bit more of a heart opener here. Exhale, hand comes down to the ground. Oh no, haha, drop the knee. Here we go, drop the knee, hand finds that foot. If you can find your foot, kick into your hand. Oh, you're gonna feel a nice stretch through the front side of that quad and of your chest. Opening that shoulder. Slowly release, hand comes down, make your way to down dog. Oh. Take a breath on your next inhale, coming forward, high plank. Here we go, my friends, exhale, chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog. Yeah, 
on your next inhale, lift your left leg high. And as you exhale, between your hands. Ah, I did it again. <laughs> Keep that leg up. Oh. All right, you guys. So leg up. We're working into three-legged uh, pigeon pose, right? So here we go. Inhale, come forward. Left knee to left elbow. Do it. Exhale, float back. Again, inhale, come forward, squeeze the knee towards the elbow, heel towards your buttocks, and then flow back. Right, one more. And then find pigeon pose, left knee, left wrist. Pull your left foot out, look behind you, pull that leg back, and then let's all take a big breath and lengthen, press into your fingertips. Support yourself as much as you can. Square your hips. Take a deep breath in. And then as you exhale, chin towards the chest. Come on down. As you inhale, pull your chin out and lift yourself back up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Oh, now from here, slowly just roll over to your uh, left butt cheek. Yeah, take your right leg and swing it around. Whew. Once you come around, take both feet out in front of you and just drop your knees. Yeah. So feet are wide, as wide as the mat. Ah, just kind of drop your knees from side to side. <sighs> side to side. <sighs> your arms a little swing. Whee! A little swing. Look over the shoulder. A little swing and look over the shoulder. <sighs> uh, give yourself a little pat in the back for making it on your mat today. Good job. <sighs> Uh, find center. Um, come onto the ground. Bring your knees into your chest. Give yourself a nice big hug. Feet are wide though, so kind of like um, your thighs by your ribs. Okay, and we're kind of floating like this. Yeah, you got it. And then from here, hands behind the knees, float the heels up towards the sky, okay? This is our first option. Option two, if you have the movement, is to take your peace fingers and hook onto your big toe or hold onto your soles of your feet. Wherever you are, let's randomly place those heels. Oh, yeah, I know where. We need to go just floating our heels around. Mm. With our right heel, let's write something that we're grateful for. Let's practice gratitude here. So write something you're grateful for with that right heel. It's my favorite game we used to play with one of my teachers in Costa Rica. Oh, gratitude. Here we go. Left heel. Let's write the name of someone we're grateful for. Right? Someone that we're so grateful for in our lives. Yeah. I'm cheating. I just wrote mom. <laughs> oh, well. Friend, send some love out to someone in your life. You've been here. Send them well wishes. Let them know you're grateful for them. Plant our feet down to the ground. Arms are up to a T shape. Feet are wide. You should feel the edges in your mat. You might even be off your mat. Drop the knees, arms up to a T shape. Oh. Let's take some breaths here as you drop your knees from side to side. Add the head, the head goes the opposite way, the knees go. Hmm. 
Let's add some arms. So let's bring our knees to center. Bring both arms up. Stand at the elbow. Hold on to opposite elbows. Here we go. Knees go one way. Elbows go the opposite way. Knees go one way. Elbows go the opposite way. Again. Now let's add the head. So we're going to go knees and head go one way, elbows go the opposite way. Uh, here we go, inhale. Exhale, knees go one way, knees and head go one way, elbows go the opposite way. And can I do this and breathe at the same time? Come back to center. Arms reach back out to the side. Keep the knees going side to side. Slow it down like you're moving your knees through molasses. And then slowly work your way into your Shavasana. So we're gonna slide the heels away. Slowly float the arms somewhere about 45 degrees. You might even wanna do some heel rocking, right? So heel rocking, press your heels into the earth, pull your toes forward and back, give your whole body a nice little shake, shake, shake. Let your body know it can relax. Adjust and readjust yourself as much as you need to. Take this moment that you have created for yourself to be here now, not to be on social media or in our head, but in anywhere else, but right here. How does it feel to be here now? Feel free to stay in Shavasana as long as you like. I've got to change this music here. <laughs> I'll do better next time, guys. <laughs> For my friends that are taking Shavasana, allow this time to 